The Class 170 Turbostar is a British diesel multiple unit train, DMU, built by Bombardier Transportation at its Derby Works. These trains have operated regional as well as long distance services and, to a lesser extent, suburban services. A total of 122 units have been built. The Class 170 is a development of the design used in the British Rail Class 165 and 166 DMUs known as the Networker Turbos, which were built by British Rail Engineering Limited BREL, and later by ABB Transportation, before that company became part of Bombardier. Notable shared features are the aluminum alloy frame and transmission, as well as the general body shape. The cab ends are also similar to those of the Class 168. The engine and transmission are under the body. One bogey per coach is powered, the other unpowered. All coaches in the set are powered, there are no unpowered trailers. The units can work in multiple. Seating arrangements can be both first class and standard class formation giving a seated passenger capacity of between 100 and 200 per three-car set, dependent upon the specifications of the operator. Two-car sets can also be seen in operation. Abellio ScotRail is the largest operator of the Class 170s, with a fleet comprising 55 three-car sets. Originally, 34 of these had first-class accommodation. They are mainly used on Edinburgh to Glasgow Queen Street, Inverness to Glasgow Edinburgh, and Aberdeen to Glasgow Edinburgh services. An additional nine units were ordered and operated by Strathclyde Partnership for Transport, SPT. These now operate under the direction of Transport Scotland, which has authority over the entire ScotRail area. In 2005, First ScotRail acquired four Turbostars from Hull Trains. When they arrived, these units were in Hull Trains Green and White, but were quickly reliveried into standard First ScotRail livery. The interior fittings of these units differ from ScotRail's in a number of ways, the most notable of which is the provision of a buffet counter in the centre coach. This is not used by ScotRail and was later removed. Although we will only be talking about the ScotRail fleet, the Class 170 Turbostar is also used by Hull Trains, Midland Mainline, London Midland, Central Trains, Cross Country, Greater Anglia, South West Trains, and Southern Trains. The ScotRail fleet are receiving an internal refurbishment program, plus a heavy overhaul to all door equipment and air conditioning systems. On-train facilities are being upgraded with the provision of power sockets throughout the units, the opportunity is also being taken to introduce the latest Saltire branding to the interior of vehicles, including all new carpets, vehicle side panels, seat covers and curtains, giving an overall improved travel experience. You will see in the video that this unit is still waiting for its Saltire livery. The units are being fitted with higher quality CCTV and a new forward-facing CCTV system, which provides enhanced passenger security and will also record images of the track and line-side area from the driver's cab. With the program at the halfway point, the seventh unit to be completed, 170407, now carries the British Transport Police external livery promoting the 61016 text service, sponsored by Transport Scotland. This year, to show its support for the LGBT community and Pride Glasgow, 
ScotRail has swapped the logo on five of its trains. They now feature the message Proud to be supporting Pride Glasgow in rainbow lettering. You will see one here in the video. The Class 170 Turbostar has had quite a number of accidents. On the 12th of February 2004, the 6.25am ScotRail Aberdeen to Inverness service was carrying 16 passengers and two staff when it left the rails after a low-speed train derailment at Inverurie station in Aberdeenshire. Then on the 13th of November 2005, there was a collision with a car at a level crossing in Swainthorpe, Norfolk, on the Great Eastern Main Line. The car driver was killed in an apparent suicide. The front of the train was damaged as a consequence of the fire from the wrecked car. On the 12th of September 2006, there was a derailment at a level crossing at Croxton, Norfolk, on the Breckland Line. A panel that formed part of the level crossing had become dislodged and fouled both railway and road. On the 27th of July 2011, there was a derailment after crossing over a set of faulty points at Princess Street Gardens on the approach to Edinburgh. The train was running empty with only two members of crew on board. On July the 14th, 2013, there was a collision with a car towing a trailer on a level crossing at Woodbridge in Suffolk. That was on the East Suffolk line. Then on the 10th of April 2016, there was yet another collision with an agricultural tractor on a level crossing at Roundham on the Breckland line. The tractor driver was seriously injured. The train driver and some passengers sustained minor injuries. Unfortunately, the Class 170 does not have a long future with ScotRail due to the electrification of lines, especially the Edinburgh to Glasgow Queen Street link, where the Class 170 currently operates. All Class 170 units are due to be replaced between Edinburgh and Glasgow by Class 185 electric units by December 2017. ScotRail will, however, retain 21 of their 55 Class 170 units to work on outer suburban services in the Central Belt and Fife, with some of the Class 170s going to southern trains. The majority will be returned to the leaseholder by June 2018, with the remainder going off lease by June 2019. The Class 170 will be replaced by Class 43 HSTs on non-electrified long-distance routes in Scotland, such as the Edinburgh or Glasgow to Aberdeen and Inverness, from December 2018. So the last we will see of the Class 170s operating for ScotRail will be June 2019. Now for the review. The Class 170 is a very comfortable DMU with large windows offering a great view and with Wi-Fi and at-seat charging points. They are a lot smoother and quieter than the earlier DMUs of the Class 156 and 158. We have very much enjoyed using the Class 170 on many occasions between Edinburgh and Glasgow and will be very sad to see them go. I am afraid diesel units will always be noisier, dirtier and less environmentally friendly than their electric counterparts. So we look forward to the introduction of the new Class 385 in December 2017. Thanks for watching. We do hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for many more reviews.